Good guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog toy. I'm going to you. As you know, I'm Lord Tomo with the blue steel. Good on Sonic the Hedgehog, just doing absolutely nothing. It's pretty early in the morning here, so I figured I might as well do a quick review of sorts. This is, if I can bring this a little closer, a Sonic the Hedgehog, towels, and where's the middle one? Emmy Rose keychain for smartphones or mobile, more current generation mobile phones. It's uh, created by a company for by if I'm gonna pronounce this right uh, Cospa I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced I'll just show you quickly here there's the website so it's Cospa now my information on this is slightly sketchy in the sense that I've my Japanese so I'm not 100% sure in the ins and outs of the mass production that is Cospa but essentially Cospa from what I've checked out the website it's www.cospa.com so www.cospa.com they make a numerous amount of keychains and various, uh, various other things such as Sonic, um, different mangas, different animes, all sorts so it's not exclusive for Sonic merchandise it's just generally they just mass produce various things now I'm going to show you one in particular, I'll go through them all of course but pretty much the packaging for one is exactly the same of every single one um, that's been made in the Sonic series and pretty much I would imagine the other keychains but this is, I'll just put the other two down this is the very first one, essentially it's just the power wire sort of packaging itself in, in a little sleeve itself fingers, uh, fingers signifying I would imagine that you're holding it and of course that is a Sonic the Hedgehog there very cute, very adorable, I will take this one out which is exactly the same as the other ones in terms of the backs but I'll take this one in particular and whatnot. At the very bottom, he actually tells you what it is. Um, now, for those who may not know, but back in the 90s, uh, before, you know, you know, e-phones were invented for mobile phones for exactly, because there were different modes, the keychains were designed in a material thread. I would imagine some phones now have it, but they're very scarce and very limited in terms of the design itself. Now, those material will be strung through the holes of the mobile phones and held there. Nowadays, unfortunately, a lot of phones, such as this one, this is my smartphone, they don't actually have that. So, how, how do they transition from a string-based hole uh, filtering uh, keychain? Of course, they were use a 3.5 millimeter jack um, port to basically connect this to your phone or whatever the device may be but that's the general gist of it so that's a little history for those who are born from the 90s um, but yeah fun little trivia it has a bunch of Japanese stuff which I would imagine will tell you exactly how it's inserted and how it's done my guess of course I'm um, could be wrong who knows at the very back it's exactly the same as every other one of course you have the um, little barcode and you have of course what it is and what you can and can't do with it now I'm not a hundred percent sure in terms of how this works I'm guessing I could be wrong um, you can actually string something else to it and connect it to your phone and make it connect somehow I'm not a hundred percent sure obviously it has a whole bunch of Japanese copious amount of things but yeah it is what it is and of course I I'm limited to what I can and can't say about this but let's take it out it's just a generic sleeve and let's take this thing out it's exactly the same put this aside and this is the actual little socket pin now this would go I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this on my mobile phone it basically fits in a 3.5 millimeter jack for earphones and that's exactly how it would go this is on my phone and you just pull it and it will just literally hang around which is pretty awesome pretty interesting um, well this is interesting um, I'm guessing what this actually try to tell you is you can actually unhinge this which you can actually there's a little pivot point of sorts if I can show you I'm um, cam well here it is there's a little push pivot point where you can actually unhinge it metallic so you can actually connect this to something else if you so desire on the back on the other ones are exactly the same but on the back you have of course it's a Sonic the Hedgehog and Sega and actually at the front you has a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog now the other ones that did sell Sonic related were the obligatory, you know, um, pixelated Sonic, kind of a throwback to the 90s in terms of its original design. I didn't pick those up because I felt, you know, there was real, there was actually no real need, personally. The reasons I picked this one up is because they look exceptionally adorable, as you can tell, and he actually looks like he's hanging from something. It's like as if he's being picked up from the very top, which I thought was mad in terms of actual design. And 
and completely different. So you can have him in his little face. I'll just bring this in as close as possible. You have his ears. It's very uh, thick and blockish wise just around it. And absolutely well done. Uh, very anime-ish. So I've absolutely loved this design itself. So that's one of them. Like I said, they're, all, they're exactly the same. Uh, but I'm just going to show you the packaging. And that's Tails. Which is once again adorable. It's like if they're grabbing him by his towels and he's being lifted up and he's like screaming, saying, What's going on? So, absolutely awesome. I'm probably going to mess around this with my phones and just change it around every once in a while because I really don't use my um, e earphone ports on my fingers much. So, this is awesome. Uh, of course, it says licensed by Sega. That's great. And of course, here's the Amy Rose, which has a different. Um, little bit to it it's like they're grabbing the dress and she's kind of has the whole oh my god you're lifting me by the dress sort of face which i find actually adorable and it could be different to most of the merchandise that currently gets released all up i pretty much spent about you know all up i pretty much spent i think about 10 10 15 dollars including shipping um a little pricey a little not pricey it really depends on the actual um by themselves i thought this was a pretty decent catch in terms of quality the uniqueness and just overall fun uh, in terms of rarity, look, uh, you won't be, you won't find this on Amazon. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna correct, I'm gonna correct myself here. You won't find them in eBay. You will find them on Amazon. However, I found this on Amazon Japan, so it will be www.amazon.jp. I think it was, but it's on the Japanese uh, Amazon. So definitely check these out if you really want them. You can obviously check out their website, which is uh, cospart.com. Um, I don't speak Japanese, so I couldn't get it from there. Maybe there's an ordering shipment. I'm not 100% sure. I and mean, even if it is, I'm not too sure if they sell them to Australia or US or whatever the case may be. But it's definitely worth a catch. Rarity, once out of 10, you will find them especially easily on Amazon Japan's website. So definitely check that out. It's not super hard unless you're specifically into just going from the US um, website or eBay um, itself. You will find this very hard, but Amazon.com, I mean, the Japanese Amazon, definitely an easy catch. Worth your try, worth your money. Um, terms of rarity, once that a 10, pick them up, pretty smart. $15 or three, that's how much I got them. There's still other ones, it's totally up to you. It's not the most comprehensive review, but it's a review I really wanted to show you guys off because I thought these were exceptional. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this review. Tell me if you like them, tell me if you had them. Is there something you're interested in? Now guys, take care, speed on, until next time.